What's, What's good, good JD fam? fam? Welcome back to another lit video. If this is your first time ever watching our channel, make sure you press that subscribe button right now. Today, we are just going to be basically giving you guys a run through of our life, how we've been doing. Obviously, we've been in Texas for a little over a year now, right? Yes, since November of 2022. Yep, so 20, yeah. yeah. So we want to like just kind of give you guys an update of our life, how we're doing, how Ko is doing, just like in general, everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we feel like we haven't really gave you guys a life update. We've been kind of MIA and you guys are probably just like, damn, like what's going on with their life? So I told you guys to ask us anything that you want on yes. Instagram so you guys left a lot of questions most of them were like the same maybe 10 reoccurring questions like everybody had pretty much the same questions that we get all the time so we're gonna get just straight into this are you guys still doing kids clothing I haven't seen anything new or you guys posting about it we actually have been wanting to update you guys yes. on that so if you don't know we did start a kids clothing brand called kids only apparel we started it last year yep. and we were really enjoying it we were going strong and then kind of like put it on pause for a while just because there was some other stuff going on in our life that was taking up more of our time but now we are bringing it back and yes. so we want to tell you guys that we're going to be offering a 50% off discount for the whole site it's going to be a whole winter blowout sale so you guys can go crazy on there shop your little hearts out yeah. and we're going to be making room for a whole bunch of new inventory yeah. that's why we're just trying to clear out as much as we can to get room for a big order that we're going to have coming in so get excited for it, you guys i'm really excited for it i'm gonna make it my priority to like really start making that my thing because julius has if you guys don't know he has his discord he's really into that doing amazing with that yeah. so i want to make kids only apparel like my thing that i really put my time and energy into well obviously i'm still gonna be there helping and stuff like that but there's a lot of stuff that we have in the works me and her we definitely this is our year of growth so kids only apparel you guys will be seeing a lot of that so speaking of new ventures this is a great question right here have you ever thought of writing a cookbook so yes i have you know what I'm <laughs> now i'm just playing so my baby right here if you guys do not know she is the best chef of all time that you guys cannot book that she you know what i'm saying she's <laughs> personal private chef right here personal but private, your own personal yeah. private chef in the but my home. wife you know what i'm saying that. it's my <laughs> wife though you know I'm, I'm very appreciative i love you i'm grateful that you do this for me and you know one thing about me i think i've realized that cooking for you in particular because i don't like cooking for people in general but yeah. i love cooking for you i don't know if it's because you enjoy it so much or like it just makes me happy because she knows i'm a waxy like, i think it's, it's like one of my love languages for you is like cooking gourmet meals for him half the time i don't even eat the same thing especially now that i've been really really trying to like focus on eating healthy yeah. but i still want to make like really delicious meals for julius and koa i will let you guys know this was a great question have you ever thought of writing a cookbook yes i will for sure make this a priority to it's me be on it <laughs> that she writes a cookbook this year that she's on her cooking content because i'm not gonna lie she created a couple reels the other day on her instagram and i keep going back and looking at them like Damn, I like that's that's the food I ate. Like, oh, that's good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna prioritize that for myself to get you to get on that. The next questions that we got over and over and over again are all about moving. Do you guys plan on buying or renting when you move out of Texas? Are you still considering moving back to LA? Are you considering Arizona? Are you considering Washington? First and foremost, we are gonna be moving out of Texas. We just don't know exactly where yet. <laughs> Obviously when we moved to Texas we bought our house and I think that was probably one of the worst decisions that we've done throughout our whole life just because when you buy a house I feel like in you, a new place yeah that you, we've never been exactly like we've never been here like mind you we looked at houses for three days then we flew home then we came back out here when we moved out here so we didn't really get the whole feel of it or anything like that so I think that we kind of messed up just buying in a random place that we don't know yeah that we didn't know if we were gonna like or not because yeah. it just really gets you a little bit bit more stuck there yeah. if we had just rented we would have probably been gone coming from california me personally i'm used to like going to the beach and 
being by the water and it's just I don't know it's a little bit different like you know you you like places and then you don't like places which I'm not saying I don't like it here it's just like not the place for us like for it us. is a yeah. great place to live it's for sure you know there's so many good pros for it yeah, but there's a lot it's just actually. like not where we see ourselves and yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that I'm sure yeah. a lot of people would love it and enjoy you know it what I'm but yeah, we just, just want to you know, we want to be honest with you guys let you guys know that you know we will probably be moving probably this year our goal is i kind of don't want to spend another summer here yes. if we have to you know summer's coming up any freaking month now it's yeah, just so. the year's going by so fast already but if we could move before, before summer, summer that would be great that would be awesome as far as our house is concerned we are going to try to sell it yes. and then as far as where we're going to be moving we're still deciding you guys we're really deciding between arizona and California, like Orange County. We don't know, but <laughs> California and Arizona is basically the two top decisions that we're choosing. And obviously when we move, we're not gonna just jump right into buying. No. We're gonna rent wherever we go. We're gonna rent there for a year. If we like it, we stay. If not, then we, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there. Yeah, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna be commenting, oh, Cole is gonna start school, this and that, this and that. Yes, just trust. <laughs> we know what we're doing. We are gonna make sure that Koa is in the best hands. You guys don't gotta worry about that. Just worry about, you know, where we about to be moving, where we <laughs> live. But we are leaning towards Arizona, but shh. Does Koa still sleep in bed with you? I want my two-year-old in her own bed already, but then I don't <laughs> <laughs> struggle that we go through internally. Like, we're like, Okay, we Man. need our space. You need to be in your own space. But then we're like, come closer. So we just moved Koa's bed into our room because he has been sleeping with us forever, you guys. And he is a freaking crazy sleeper. Like the other day, I got fed up in the middle of the night because I got kicked in the head. My hair pulled with his feet. Like he's such a wild sleeper. I was getting messed up in my sleep. I had to go up to the living room. Yeah, and that was my final straw. <laughs> I was pissed, you guys. It was Best like 4 a.m. and I'm just getting pummeled in my sleep, like yeah. just All getting right. my butt whooped. He grabbed a pillow, put it on me, and sat on it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, are you kidding yeah, me? He's hilarious. Me, I just cover myself with the covers, <laughs> take you cover. Have to hide from him. Yeah, I it's take so cover. Sad. I put like my eyes out and I just. Fall asleep, you know what I'm saying? If he messes with me, he messes with me. That's not him. <laughs> At least you don't have long hair. Yeah. So we did just bring his bed into our room and I made it back into a crib because we had it as a toddler bed, but I'm like, no. I'm gonna put the crib bar back up because yeah. I don't want him escaping and coming back into our bed. <laughs> He'll do that every time he wakes up in the middle of the night, if he wakes up, yeah. for sure. We don't have him sleeping in his room because it's just too far from our bedroom. So to answer your question, mm, he is still sleeping in our bed. <laughs> So another question that we get over and over again, every single video is every video. about every Koa day. and if he is talking. You guys are all really curious, so we are finally going to tell you guys about that. Yeah, which honestly, I'm like super grateful that you guys are curious because it shows that you guys are concerned and that you guys are, you know what I'm saying, part of the fan. So to answer your question, Koa can say some words. He is yeah. learning, but he's still a work in progress. He is not saying as many words as you know, he should be saying. So we are working with a speech therapist. We've been working yep. with them for a while now. We haven't told you guys just because we just yeah. wanted to, you know. Kind of like personal life, but we are doing our best to make sure that he learns. So we work with him every day. Like Destiny said, we have a speech therapist that actually comes to our home, literally getting better every single time she comes. And he is super, super smart. It's just, he can't express the words that like he wants to, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he just needs help with his yeah. language expression. So we are getting that help for him and, yeah. and we're being super patient with him, just yeah. giving him, you know, mm -hmm. all the resources and everything he needs to be able to learn at whatever rate is gonna yeah. be best for him. So to answer your question, he says small words, dada, mama, more. You know, small eat, words. Water. Yeah, eat, but he is not gonna give you guys a complete sentence and stuff <laughs> like that. It's okay, it's a work in progress. You know, everybody is different and everybody learns at their own pace. So I know a lot of you guys were curious about that because you don't really see him talking in videos and yeah. that's mainly because a lot of times we keep the clips with him really, really short just because we didn't really want like a whole bunch of questions asking about him. But I think from now on, we're gonna just be like a lot more open yeah, with Koa guys. and his whole journey because I know a lot of people are, you know, going through the same thing with their children and it's just so helpful to know that like, 
you're not alone like every kid just learns at a different rate and it's totally okay as yeah. long as you're you know doing the best that you can that's all that matters we're gonna be working towards it. you guys are gonna be seeing him soon saying a lot of stuff <laughs> other than getting off birth control have you guys started trying to have another baby Ooh, that's a great question right there as well. I am off of birth control. I was on the IUD, but I really just got my IUD taken out because I just didn't really want it in anymore. I didn't really like how it was making me feel. And I just didn't really want like that foreign object in me anymore. But we're not necessarily trying, trying like consciously. It's not something like we're sitting there like, yeah, let's try today yeah. type of thing. It's kind of like if it, if happens, it happens, it, it happens. happens. And that's but, what it is, you know what I'm saying? But it's a scary thing. I yeah. don't know if we're necessarily ready for yeah, it. Yeah, honestly, I think that we probably won't be getting pregnant anytime, like within like five months here and there. Yeah. But we would I think, rather be living where we exactly, want to move to when yeah. we get pregnant. So I think honestly, probably once we put our house up for sale and stuff, you know, you guys may be seeing a little belly bump there. You know what I'm but for now, you guys just gotta enjoy us, you know. <laughs> hey, we ain't, we ain't having no babies right now. So another big thing in our life that, you know, we kind of made it a big responsibility on ourselves for this year was to kind of be more on our health, wealth, fitness type journey. And we know we've been doing super good. Destiny right here is the all-star MVP because she didn't lost a lot of pounds. Well, not a lot of pounds, you know what I, I'm saying? She just got to where she wanted to go, you know what I'm saying? I'm not there yet. I still yeah. have a ways to go. I haven't even started actually working out yet. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but I've just you been like hey. changing the way I've been eating. It goes like, it goes like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, look, look. So it goes her face, it goes toop, her face, then it goes down, then her thunk thunks, and then it goes <laughs> straight down. And then we skip that front what part. What are you doing? Are you trying? Boom, it's like a big badonka donk back there because <laughs> she's been on her stuff. I'm trying to tell y'all. Lost like about nine pounds so far, but I still want to lose another. I don't know. Nine some pounds? some more. Maybe like six or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and me, I ain't really lost no pounds. I just been going to the gym. I kind of been slacking the last three days, but I'm I'm back on my stuff, so make sure yeah, you're Yeah, but you've been doing stuff. better drinking your water. Yeah, you've still been water making healthier stuff. choices. Yeah, ginger ale though needs to get out my life. I know, I'm trying to get him name, off the bro. ginger ale. I think it messed up my stomach right here. Cause it kind of hurt right there. I'm gonna have I to just ban ale. it from the house. Ginger ale <laughs> and Shirley Temples. Shirley Temples when we go out to eat and ginger ale when we're in the crib. Up. So much that when we go to a restaurant, they already know that he's getting a Shirley Temple without him even ordering it. Um, if we've been there, they know. But we hope you guys got a nice little update from us. If you guys have any more questions, we can easily do a part two of a life update or whatever. All you got to do is just drop the questions below. We're going to be trying to post a lot, a lot, a lot more for you guys because this past year, we were really, really slacking on YouTube, Instagram, everything. And you guys don't deserve that because you guys have been with us since the very beginning. So this year is all about growth and, you know what I'm saying, posting a lot, giving you guys a lot of content. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Have your post notifications turned on. And we'll see you guys. What's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. Damn. We'll see you guys on, on Thursday. Thursday. We love you guys. Peace.